Imagine if you had a chef inside of you, constantly making food, constantly feeding you, so you never had to eat anything, ever. Obviously, that would be great, especially if the chef could come out sometimes so you could have some quality chats. Well, this is basically what life is like for coral. Coral live most of their lives with algae living inside of them. The coral protects the algae, and in exchange, the algae do photosynthesis to provide over 90% of the food that the coral needs. With such an ideal system going on, why aren't we all swallowing algae ourselves? And also, more importantly, why is the coral dying off? the world over. Well, it's to do with climate change and it's also really interesting, so I'm gonna tell you about it. To stay alive, coral needs to ensure it's got the best algae inside it. Algae ideally suited to the current ocean conditions. But because of all the CO2 being pumped into the atmosphere by humans, conditions in the ocean are changing rapidly. And algae that used to be ideal chefs for coral are increasingly struggling. When the algae struggle, they start to try too hard like texting their crush at 2am, and in doing so, they produce free radicals, which hurts the coral, and so the coral ejects them. The coral then tries to find new algae to host instead, but this is really difficult because all of the coral around it are trying to do the same thing at the same time. Plus, the algae that they're looking for are all chilling on the seabed. When coral are babies, called planular larvae, cute little things with no anuses, just mouths, they can swim around freely, finding their favourite algae and swallowing them before attaching themselves to some coral. It's much harder for adult coral, immobile, fixed in their towers, to find new algae, and so many fail. Coral and algae is a beautiful symbiosis, but when it goes wrong, the coral can start to die really quickly, turning into a white, ghost-like solid. No longer a bountiful jungle, no longer a safe haven for countless aquatic creatures, just a white graveyard. So, sorry that this episode is ending on a worrying note, but I also think it's kind of positive. Positive that we know what's happening, positive that we're understanding it, and positive that we're forming increasingly strong movements to fight against this rapid climate change. Remember, climate change itself isn't necessarily bad. What's bad is when the climate changes so quickly that living things aren't able to adapt fast enough to keep up. Coral could be considered the canary in the coal mine. Let's do what we can before we start struggling to keep up too. Thanks for watching, spread the knowledge, and deliciously subscribe for more.